California Governor's Race, former uh, President Bill Clinton. This, this, this has become such a big item. This commercial is running everywhere all the time. We talked to Meg Whitman about this yesterday. We'll run the commercial. We'll get her reaction. We'll get Jerry's reaction here, Jerry Brown as well. Jerry Brown's good old days. But what really happened? CNN, not me, CNN says his assertion about his tax record was, quote, just plain wrong. Jerry Brown went out there and took credit for the fact that the people of California voted for Proposition 13, which lowered taxes, which he opposed. And now he's going around taking credit for it. He raised taxes as governor of California. He had a surplus when he took office and a deficit when he left. He doesn't tell the people the truth. Okay. I'm sure you've seen it. I've seen it, and it's totally deceptive. Uh, Bill Clinton has acknowledged that the CNN report was false. The Department of Finance says it's false. Taxes went down. The Los Angeles Times confirmed that. So did the Sacramento Bee. It is very clear taxes went down when I was governor. I personally signed bills to cut taxes by more than $4 billion. That CNN report, the very author of it, has acknowledged he read the record wrong. Mm -hmm. And the uh, people have checked uh, with the Department of Finance. So it's crystal clear. And I call upon uh, Ms. Whitman, again, take it off because it is deceptive. Right, Jerry, we, 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 we asked her that very question. I'm really anxious and, to see what the, the uh, answer. What's, what's the result the here? essential elements of that ad are absolutely true. On average, during Jerry Brown's time in office, taxes went up. And the fact is, he opposed Prop 13. He enacted a $2.5 billion gas tax during his time as governor. And he is not a ta tax cutter. Just last year, he uh, supported Proposition 1A. It's almost like we're having a debate. Okay. You say well, that. There, I mean, there's so much misinformation there. Uh, the fact is that taxes, when you take into account inflation and population growth, they went down more under me than any other governor. And everyone who's looked at it said I was the frugal governor. I was more conservative in spending than Ronald Reagan. She, she wasn't even there. She's never voted. She doesn't know. I'm telling you, there's nobody more frugal. There's nobody more desirous of cutting the taxes. And by the way, when she talks about the gas tax, that gas tax went up under the succeeding governor, who then a few years later, Mr. Duke Magian, uh, doubled it by nine cents. So I think we have to say, you know, what is the truth? Who knows how to make this state work? And who really cares about California? I love this state. I've lived in it all my life. I've voted in it all my life. And I think I got the know-how uh, to get us back. Now, you, you, also, you and Bill Clinton, who <clears throat> did not always get along, and we yeah. see that on that ad, he has now come out and endorsed you after you made kind of a, a, a nasty yeah. little joke about well, him. Well, he's got a thick skin. He's got to get okay. the humor. Uh, you you got to have a little scar tissue in this yeah. business. But yeah. see, <laughs> even there in that ad, he was pointing to CNN. And yeah, the CNN... Did writer has himself said, I made a mistake because I looked at the wrong year so when, he, when he covered it. And by the way, when she talks about average taxes, she is not right. And she doesn't know. That's the thing. She has all the old political hacks, about 50 of them, that work on her payroll. And they tell her things. And then she delivers the lines. I know this stuff. I've lived here. I've lived through it. And when I speak, I speak from my heart and where, from my where own she was personal accurate. experience. Uh, where she was accurate yes. is, is she said that you opposed... Prop 13. So for those of us who lived here, remember exactly what your attitude was. You were opposed to it. I sure did oppose it. I went up and down the state and denounced it. And then? And then, because it became the law and I was governor, I... Effect, I put it into practice, and because I built up a $5 billion surplus, not a deficit, we had the money to replace the property tax uh, reduction, so we kept the police and the fire and the school, uh, school teachers working. That was amazing. And because of that, the author of, Pro of Proposition 13, Howard Jarvis, voted for me, even though I had opposed him in the primary. But in November, he said, Brown made it work. I, Jarvis, created it, but Brown was able to work it. So when they say I took credit, no, I didn't take credit for the idea or for the vote, but I do say, and the author says, I made it work because I had a surplus. And today, if we had a surplus, we wouldn't have the layoffs, we wouldn't have the, the disaster that we now have in Sacramento. And now you're running uh, an ad of your own, uh, I, I believe it's you or your people, uh, about Meg Whitman is like Pinocchio. And yeah, well, can you show that here, please? Uh, perhaps we can. can. Can we get that going you a little bit? Yeah. 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 Wouldn't it be nice if every time Meg Whitman told a lie, her nose would grow? Newspapers report the claims in this Meg Whitman ad are false, and she knows it. Taxes went down under Jerry Brown, but Whitman's nose keeps growing by the millions. Wouldn't it be nice if every time Meg Whitman told a lie, her nose would grow? 
Newspapers report the claims in this Meg Whitman ad are false, and she knows it. Okay, yeah, we got the point. Yeah. Well, no, I, I was glad you played. You went <laughs> over 15 seconds. That, that was 20, 20 seconds. Three or four so times? Like, do you know how much 20 seconds costs on this station? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, that's a real thing. Well, I think this is part of the problem with this with this election that that there's so much he said she said misinformation but it was she a nice picture i mean that was a nice photograph that was lovely yeah. i'm sure she loved it but the I point she is looked, so I mean, she it's like okay. it's spin doctoring it like well, this works to our election, election, but in this one i'm saying she's not telling the truth that's a graphic way of saying this it. is a full-out lie then almost that she, oh, yeah? she knows oh, no. that it's false and she, she's still putting, and she, she said yesterday here i'm standing by that that's what she, she doesn't said tell the truth she said she lived in california for 30 years in an ad she made and then when people caught her on it she had to take it down this this woman does not tell the truth. I'm just sorry. To All right. Uh, uh, w w w Meg Whitman, by the way, we asked her when she was here to give us questions to ask you. We will get to that. Okay. Yeah, but before we do, there's a thing going on today. The reason you're going around today is not only you're running for governor, but the situation. I have a day job. Yeah. The city, the city of Bell, and you are about to announce what? I'm about to announce some uh, very significant lawsuits where we're going to go after these people and the city council and the city manager. We're going to get the money back. Uh, because you can't just pay whatever you feel like. Uh, the pay must uh, be bal must be uh, relative to what you did. What are your duties? And whenever you make these decisions for the people, you owe a, a duty of trust. And if you violate the trust, and if the salary is not commensurate with your responsibilities, it's illegal, it's waste, and in this case, it's a civil fraud, and we're going to go get it. And you have warrants out? Uh, it's not about warrants. It's about filing. These are complaints. And how does this affect the money? How does what? this affect the pensions? Uh, we, we get the salary declared illegal, or, or the certain amount of it, the excess that the court will decide was not commensurate to the duty, and then of course the pension comes down uh, commensurately. Hey, can I? Um, sure. We have mm -hmm. one more question on Bell no, because I'm going back to Bill. So Bell is Bell important Bell. because we're going uh, because this is an example where we see a problem. Uh, in fact, the press really brought this to public light, the Los Angeles Times, and now we're going after it, and I think there will be even criminal indictments brought by wow. the Wow, well, they just did a attorney. story today that Rizzo, the way he was paid, the way that he paid, like there's diff five different ways, and there's a whole, it's very shady. It was, it was obfuscation at its worst. Mm -hmm. uh, would you be riding, like I call would, it deception. would you be riding this horse as hard as you are if you weren't running? I sure would. I, I mean, that's just what I do. And that's one of the problems of this job. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have a billion dollars, so I have to raise money, but I have to do my work as attorney general, mm -hmm. and then I have to campaign. And yeah, but they're, 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 they're not inconsistent with each other, though. Well, no, right. they, they, they sometimes work together. And the sometimes point that they elections don't. are dirty and there's all this muscling, I get that. But when do you get, I want the issue. That was like a clean ad, though. you got to say, that was the cleanest ad I've I, ever seen. That's because it's yours. Right. Yeah. yeah. But it was clean. It wasn't. It's also you know, a rebuttal. But, but also it is a rebuttal. Well, yeah, but if you get a punch, you're supposed hey, to at least I, I hear duck you. and kind of. I hear you, but I'd like to hear that. the issues, yeah. too, after a while. Okay, the issue, the issue right. is that the, the state, the Republicans and the Democrats, uh, can't work together. They're, they're right. just in polar opposite positions. One says don't cut, one says don't tax. So, how are you going to pull them together? I asked Meg this. I, uh, I, I know I'm, obviously couldn't do it. Well, I'll tell you how. The governors usually wait and release their budget in January. Then they come back in June and start talking to the leadership. I'm going to start in November, the week after the election. I'm going to call all 120 together, and I'm going to work them every day if I have to till we get the budget solution. If they can't agree, I'm going to ask the Republicans, give me your best offer. I'm going to ask the Democrats, give me yours, and I'll put mine in. We'll go to the people and get a vote at a special election. Prop 25, I will resolve prop 25 it. on the ballot mm -hmm. says, let's make it easier to pass the budget. Make it a majority mm -hmm. instead of two-thirds. Yeah, Meg yeah. said, Meg said no to this. Well, mm -hmm. she doesn't believe in the majority. One of the things where, she where said, you stand on I, I'm, I'm going to vote for it. Okay. I'm going to vote oh, for it. It's okay. not a cure-all, but I, I say yes. The majority ru rules in this country, and that's the budget, not taxes. And when the people of Oakland voted for more money by 70%, Meg said the people of Oakland were wrong. They don't have a right to vote because Meg says, I know best, and I don't think that's the right. We asked Meg Whitman uh, what questions would she have for you that she'd like delivered here. Let's okay, let's, let's um, you know, ask him uh, uh, how how the fact that he didn't uh, pass four out of eight budgets on time, All right, we'll and do, ask we'll, him about bringing people together and whether or not we'll you do know, a delayed that's... debate that way. No, <laughs> you can, we'll ask him next time you come back. You'll have a question. Uh, yeah, you, you, you the most... talked about bringing people together. Uh, yes, by the way, the budgets uh, they were on 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 time. Uh, four out of eight times, and the other days it was a few days late. It was none of this 
uh, what it is today. It goes on for months. Uh, yeah, I brought them together, but I think she's got a point that I irritated some legislators. Yeah, I irritated when I veto their bills. You want when, to ruffle feathers. When we got a $5 billion surplus over three, year, three and a half years, I got that because I vetoed Republican and Democratic bills alike. I stood up to labor unions. I stood up to business. I stood up to the good old boys. I've been there. I don't just have some snappy plan. I have a record of action. I even vetoed the pay raises from all the public employees and went to one of their rallies and was booed and just stood there. She's never done that. <clears throat> she, she's in a bubble. As a CEO, she gets protected. As a politician, I've been taking the slings and arrows for a long time. Jerry Brown, I'll take them again. Can I go back question. to the Bill Clinton yes. thing, talking I, about I, I slings and arrows? All right, we're running out of time. Yes. Okay, go right, ahead. Wait, I'll try and do it quickly. Okay, you made a Monica Lewinsky joke. I guess it was a joke about Bill Clinton. It was. Uh, you always speak I from your heart. I, I'm okay. sorry about that. And did you apologize? Yes, I did. Have you guys... <clears throat> no, I, yeah, I apologize. I said it was <clears throat> the dumb remark, and he endorsed me, and I really appreciate it. He's a hell of a guy. Uh, look, we were in prosperity. We were in surplus. And he's coming out here, and I very much All right, appreciate it. When Meg Whitman <clears throat> comes back, what question do you have for her? Uh, come back again. I what would I say to her? Oh, she says that, that uh, she wants to eliminate the capital gains tax, okay? 95% of the capital t gains tax goes to the top 4% of the people. She herself will be enriched by it. Is that right? When that uh, tax elimination will cut between 5 and $10 billion from the state budget, which means schools will suffer billions of dollars of reduction. Is it fair to give Meg Whitman billionaires and multimillionaires this special tax break and take it away from the schools? I think it's wrong. Ooh, I, that sounds wrong to me. Last question. Will you go on KFI? Everybody keeps asking oh, me. John Meg Ken? Whitman was on John and Ken. It's just... Yeah, wow. did you hear? I mean, they weren't very respectful to her. Right. If, they, if they treat Whitman uh, that way, how the hell are they going to treat me? <laughs> would you go I out? think you can handle you yourself. Here. This I'm, is not, not I'm not answering that question yet, but every day I get a call from a kid or somebody, are you going on, Ken? They have my cell phone. They can call me at any time. Uh, they may call right now. I'm out kid. there. I'm accessible. People okay. can get hold of me. All right. But Ken and John, John